that one. Yeah. My name is Anna. I was just a typical kid until I started jet ski racing. My whole family got into it, even my little sister Jessie. I got pretty good at it. Jet skiing opened a lot of doors for me, and my family helped push me further. I even went so far as to start doing power sports media as my career and for school. I guess you could say I was pretty passionate about it. Jessie liked it, but I don't think she was as into it as I was. I used to try and convince Jessie that it could be her thing too. Until one day, I came home from college to find out that my sister was a rock star. This good. We had this like old, really beat up acoustic guitar that like my sister used. So obviously it wasn't in good condition when I received it. But so I would I would fiddle around on that. You know, it was out of tune, so it was it was just terrible. But after a while, you know, I was like, you know, I want to learn some of my favorite songs on guitar. You know, because that would be fun. Like why not? I heard that she had been playing every day after school uh, from her mom and. Uh, I hadn't heard her play because she was doing it secretly. I had worked like for a month and I had learned just a little bit of the riff and it was it was really sad but I knew it still knew how to play it and then one day I came downstairs I was like hey look what I can do. So with Anna, my oldest daughter, I identified that she was into uh, digital media, journalism, uh, video editing, uh, those types of things. We started jet ski racing and when we started jet ski racing I looked for the connection between what she was interested in, what she was good at, and what we were doing with the racing. You ride with your sister, right? Yeah. Do you like riding? Yeah. What do you, what's your favorite part about riding? Um, that I get to be known for doing something that's really cool. Jessie's raced jet skis, um, but she's not very competitive. She enjoys racing. Uh, she enjoys riding the jet skis. She likes to go out and jump waves and play around on the jet ski, but when it comes to practicing and, and, and being competitive, that's really not her thing. Uh, she still enjoys the races, but she doesn't want to practice to, to get better um, at the racing. So, um, But with the guitar, it's been completely different. Um, I noticed early on that this was something that she was really picking up quickly. And as soon as I picked up on it, um, we, we jumped in with both feet. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
lessons. I started taking her to various uh, guitar stores around town so we could try different equipment, play around with the different guitars and see what the differences were in the different types of equipment. Uh, I purchased a handful of guitars so that she'd have different equipment to try out. And, uh, and then a uh, few months uh, into her playing, we uh, found a school that had, a, uh, that had both lessons and band practice. And the bands would practice and then play a show. Uh, we did that for a few months and uh, Jesse quickly surpassed everybody at that school. On Wednesday mornings, she usually gets up about 5.30 and she has to catch the bus by 6.45. She gets home by 3.15 from the bus. Her ear dumb. Jessie's home! Right now. Eating! I eat when I get home from school. Thank you. The level of maturity and determination that, that Jesse has for for this this dream and this skill that she has, she's serious about it. She's committed, and she doesn't want to fart around, for lack of a better term, you know. <laughs> to get her to Music House by 6 o'clock, get her unloaded so she can have her lesson, and then we have to get back home, switch guitar cases so we can get her over to Guitar Dock by 7.30 because she has another 30 minute lesson there, and then we hurry over to the office to pick up her dad, and then we get over to Jerry's Bake Shop by 8 o'clock because that's when the jam starts and they usually start off with her and she'll play a couple of songs we'll eat a pizza for dinner and then they usually bring her up for a couple more songs a little bit later and we head out of there about 10 o'clock and she goes straight to bed and is back up again 5 30 the next morning for school And then maybe if I'm feeling up to it, I might play the guitar a little bit right before I go to bed. But since I eat, sleep, and breathe guitar, you know, and I haven't eaten it yet, though. I haven't eaten. I did play the guitar with my teeth. That didn't. My one. I dropped a hot pocket on my SG right here, and I was trying to play the guitar with my tongue, and I was like, "Oh my god, it tastes like pizza!" And I was like, "Oh my god, I dropped a hot pocket on the guitar. No wonder it tastes like pizza." I first met the band Paranoia at um, this place I play at every Wednesday is Jerry's Bait Shop and I met their lead singer Peyton Palmer and she's a pretty good singer and we talked a little bit we got each other's kind of like contact information you know everybody followed each other on Instagram and all that stuff and we started talking you know and we were like oh maybe we could just the two of us just jam together at Jerry's sometime and then it turned into hey, let's start a band, you know, I've noticed a few other people, maybe we could get something going, like, maybe we could go somewhere with this, and so, we've been working together with stuff like that, and then, now, I mean, she comes and asks me to fill in lead guitar, because she knows I'm capable of learning all these songs in a short amount of time, and so, now I'm playing this big gig with them, um, tomorrow, or Saturday, so. So we're here at Jerry's Bait Shop and we're about to play with uh, the Paranoia, or I'm about to play with the Paranoia Band as their lead guitar and uh, I don't know what else to say. I don't know if we're going on as, which, so we're just going on as Paranoia? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Alright. We're good. <laughs>
Yeah. Hello, my name is Marilyn Manson, and this is my Marilyn Mansion. That was so fun. It was awesome. We, it was <laughs> awesome. It was awesome. Yeah. We got invited back for more. They were really excited. That makes me so happy. And then they also paid us like two hundred thirty bucks. So that's like more than zero dollars. Exactly. We we didn't think we were gonna get paid. Yeah. So when do you guys think you're gonna play next? Whenever we can. All the time. Yes. 300% or 100%. All right, Jesse. Tell me what happened with your last band. Well, you see, they didn't really want to work together with me. And, you know, it's, it kind of fell through. And I was, I was, re I'm ready to go, obviously, with guitar playing and stuff, so. I wanted to get gigs and stuff, and I was like, let's do some stuff. But it didn't happen. Oh, I will take the guitar. Is Dad downstairs? Listen. Because that's the only one I would have played. I will take the guitar away if you don't stop playing it. For, like, give me five minutes. You play all day. Jesse! <laughs> Well, Jesse's trying to start her own band, and uh, you know we have uh, seen a problem with you know a lot of the kids her age are are not really as dedicated to uh, what she's doing as she is. Um, you know, a lot of them want to just show up and play. They don't want to practice, and they don't want to do band rehearsals. <laughs> I just have to find people who want to be in a band with me. Because I'm amazing. Not really. <laughs> but I just, I just gotta find new band members who are ready to go and are as committed as I am. She has definitely begun to find her own path and her own direction to do the thing that makes her who she is, just like Anna did in the jet skiing world and the social media world. I didn't really do anything and then we kind of started jet skiing but you know it wasn't like it was more my sister's thing you know she had more dedication you know she went on and won some races and I kind of was just there you know I was kind of like oh that's Anna's sister you know. And now your sister races now whenever you watch your sister race are you really proud of her? Yeah. Now what is your favorite part about when Anna rides? Do you have like, do you like going to her races and... That she beats people. You like that she beats people? Mm hmm Like nobody really knew who I was very well. But then, you know, after a while, I found guitar and like music and stuff. And I found, you know, I have talent in this. Like, I can do this. And like, I moved away from being, you know, just Anna's little sister and went to being this like amazing guitar player. As far as what she can do with the talent in the future, it's not real clear. Um, you know, we're uh, just moving forward right now with the idea that we're going to turn this into something in the future. Uh, but what that is at this moment, we don't really know. Um, so we are just going to keep progressing with what we're doing. And, you know, by the time she finishes high school, hopefully we'll have an idea of where she can go with it. I need to find my guitar pick first because I dropped it and it happens to be a black guitar pick. Where did it go?